My math teacher showed me this earlier today, and I was surprised and confused on if it was true or not. All right, let's go over this. It's a famous question, right? First, we start off by saying x equals 0.9 repeating. So this means we have x equals 0.999 and so on, so on, so on. We have infinitely many nines. Right here, we are going to just multiply both sides by 10. So on the left hand side, we just have 10x. And on the right hand side, when we multiply 10 by this decimal number, we can just move the decimal point one time to the right. So we get 9.99999 forever. So we can also put a bar right here. From here, you see 10x is equal to 9.9 .9 repeating, and then x is equal to 0 0.9 repeating. What we are going to do is start from 10x, and then we are going to minus just x. So this means 10x, which is that, right? So we have 9.9 .9 repeating, minus the x is just that, 0 0.9 repeating. On the left hand side, can we figure this out? Yes, right? This right here is just 9x. And on the right hand side, can we figure this out? Also, yes, because we have infinitely many nines right here and the minus infinitely many nines right here. So it's just 9 minus 0, and that will be just 9 right here. 9x is equal to 9. Divide both sides by 9, we get x equals 1. Hmm. So what exactly is going on? If we look back to the first line, we are saying x is equal to 0 0.9 repeating. And after all this, we are saying that x is equal to 1. So combining these two together, we end up with saying 0 0.9 repeating is equal to 1. Wow, cool, huh? Is this true? Certainly this is true, but it's just a lot of people don't believe it. So here is how, what I'm going to do. I think it's just because the 0 0.9 repeating is equal to 1 is a little bit shocking, but let me just tell you. This right here, it's a repeating decimal number. You can change that to a fraction, and that fraction just happens to be 1. If we take a look at another repeating decimal number, the following is more believable. So let's just take a look on that first, all right? So let's see, what if I want to ask you? 0 0.4 repeating is equal to what? Can we do the same thing? Yes. Let's start off by saying that x equal to 0 0.4 repeating. So this means we have x equals 0 0.444 da, 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 forever. Multiply this by 10, multiply this by 10. On the left hand side, we have 10x. On the right hand side, move the decimal point to the right one time. We have 4.4 repeating. So let's put a bar right here. Now, 10x is this, and x is that. Let's do what we did over there. 10x minus x, and that's equal to 4.4 repeating, minus the x, which is 0 0.4 repeating. On the left hand side, again, 10x minus x, just like that, we will end up with 9x. And right here, this part and that part, like they're all repeating decimal force, right? This part and that part, they cancel. So we just have 4 minus 0, so we get 4. And finally, divide both sides by 9, we get x equals 4 over 9. What's x? We said x is equal to 0 0.4 repeating earlier. And then after all this, we end up with x equals 4 over 9. So as you can see, this is how we can change from a repeating decimal number to a fraction. 0 0.4 repeating equals 4 over 9. Nine. Just like that. It's just that when you write down 0 0.9 repeating, it's all this, and then we put that as 1. This one looks so perfect. So, in your opinion, that's why people say, oh, you cannot really say 0 0.999 da, 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 is equal to 1. That's like, I'm still missing. We are not there yet. But when I say this, 0 0.444 da, 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 is equal to 4 over 9 people are more okay with this. So if you're okay with this, you should also be okay with that. In fact, there's also like a more advanced way, like a calculus way to take of this as an infinite geometry series. If you already know that, check out the video right here. But for now, that's it.